And welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Shen Diana playing a different combination here. Get some more Ionia decks in today. We're going to be playing um, Shen, which is going to be uh, able to um, support, give our allies barrier, combining that with Diana that has the quick attack challenger. So you don't always need a quick attack challenger barrier, but we're just going to going to kind of combine these all these good targon cards and targon spells you know with ionia so we're going to be kind of aggressive now one one way that these do work pretty well together is that of course diana you want the nightfall cards and um one of the best nightfall cards in targon is a crescent guardian being a 5-3 overwhelm for three mana but you know 5-3 overwhelm still kind of vulnerable that's where our shen comes in where if we give our 5-3 um, overwhelm a barrier we can pr we can attack with it multiple times help kill the opponent um, we got a Cygnus at the top end to be able to give our things elusive we got Eclipse Dragon to be card advantage so we got a couple more Nightfall cards in with that of course Lunari Shadestalker also being elusive so we're aggressively slanted with all of those kind of things um, you know Caretaker gets to, to grow every time we're, we're uh, playing any kind of barrier cards I also like Key Guardian with Diana. I think that these could work pretty well together or just Key Guardian with Nightfall um, just in general because you can use spell mana. You could play a Key Guardian on a Diana or like on a Crescent Guardian and then play your Diana or Crescent Guardian and you know now you have Nightfall turned on. So I think Key Guardian could be a good Nightfall enabler and also just be good with those kind of cards. Um, we got River Shaper to try to protect and draw a bunch of spells with that. Mountain Goat, we can protect and get some gems. It's our deck. Let's see. Let's see how it does. You know, playing something a little different here. Just playing some fun cards together. We're gonna go play five games over in ranked. Um, playing a <clears throat> new champion combination here. Shen Diana. Hey Raven Rid. So we got some River Shapers. Now, River Shaper is kind of vulnerable against your Swain, Twisted Fate kind of stuff. We're going to just mulligan everything, except for we'll keep one. There. Now we got a curve. One, two, three, four. So we have the attack token not on four. We don't get to play Shen and then attack. That can help out Diana. I'm going to cast this and pass and see what they do. Let's see if I want to go Crescent Guardian or Diana. See which one I want to play. They're willing to end round. Because um, Crescent Guardian, not so great against, against Petty Officer. Diana, not so great against the deal 2 damage card Death Sand. Um, I think I would rather play... I'm going to play the Crescent Guardian, actually, just for, for mana considerations. I hope no Petty Officer. Yay, no Petty Officer. Lunari, rise. So there are two drop trades with both my one and my two drop. We'll get a gem. Pass turn over to me. Cool. We'll just take the pass. They wasted a lot more mana than I did. We have River Shaper plus Diana plus Pale Cascade. Powder Keg. Not cool. I could go Caretaker plus Shen. I could also just simply challenge the Powder Keg right now with the 5 3 Overwhelm. I'm gonna play Shen. Something doesn't die to make it rain, doesn't die to red card. 
Be nothing left when I'm done. Enforced equilibrium. Best run while you can. So the overwhelm should just be doing the damage to them. Thinking ravenous flock, I hope I hope I get to heal the Shen first. Not get to heal the Shen first. Um, a pill cascade. What would we? What, what could we find? Basically, just another pill cascade. So two out of thirty-one chance of drawing another pill cascade. They're down to nine. You know, like we, we're having kind of an aggressive start here. They are at nine. We swim within the flows of magic. Please, no powder keg. The river shape the land and give it life. Looks like they got another ravenous flock. That'd be my guess. Yeah. So good they had to use these resources on that. Okay, let's see. Ooh, I like that. like that. Can't just kill Diana right away. And then of course obviously it buffs up the Green Glade Caretaker also, so that's pretty nice. This could be a good turn for us. Could be a good turn for us. You got legs. You suck. Our light grows brighter. Love that more pale cascades, that's good. A gift from the river folk. Send more. So, basically, it's Rip Riptide Rex turn. Maybe they won't have Riptide Rex. That would be awesome. Maybe they just have Leviathan. Yeah, that's a bad sign. Can't stop that from happening. Probably Rex. We're hoping a bunch of cannon barrages go towards the Shade Stalker. Yep. So one, two, two, two. It looks like. So we can save this here. Save Diana. Come, a new phase awaits. Rip 
Tide Rex. Everything was going just fine. Night flowers. Until Red Tide Rex. The promise of a new moon upon you, Bloom Tender. We got one health. <laughs> Everybody's got one health. That's it. Currents pull them down. All right, we'll draw a spell. Cool, thank you. What form will the waters take? So now we have a little bit of protection. We can go right to attacks, have seven damage. Now we got a little protection with the Spirit's Refuge. I cannot turn back. Haven't been necessarily drawn the best. These these one mana cards are not the best, but ooh. There we go. GG's. They didn't have anything else. Awesome. Wanna know? A full moon casts her light across the land. It worked out. Discard burn. This hush doesn't look useful <laughs> right it has not looked useful so far yeah that was a nice one right there anything else <laughs> we were peaceful once thanks we will resist uh, if I pass to them, I don't think they pass. I think they play something. Good. That's pretty big. That's pretty important, because... Ooh, there we go. I was going to say, I don't have much going on this next turn, but... All right, we got a Mountain Goat. <laughs> so they'll have Elusives to be able to block my attempted Cygnus. Not too bad so far for us. Two worlds, but one all they have to do is, you know, play a Jinx, level it up. And I'm not, I'm not saying that we're even favored here. I'm just saying that so far it's gone well for us. Oh, it is a great day for okay. It's not too bad. Discarded Rummage. We got the backup Diana. Down to... Down to 10. Just gonna just planning on casting the mountain goat. I guess that means I won't have it for nightfall for next turn. Maybe I just play it next turn. Hold on to this two spell mana that could be a fail cascade or something. Because basically our plan is, like, next turn... 
I want to be able to go like I like they do something before attacking. I go gem Cygnus like blocking. Wise. Now to six. I feel pretty good about ending this game with these Crescent Guardians. Feel pretty good about that. All of our cards are Nightfall in hand, so these gems are important for turning on said Nightfall. Yeah, let's see. Let's go with heal that and Cygnus that. So I don't need to use the Cygnus on, on offense because they just have these elusives that can block. So I can just use the Cygnus on defense. I know I'd have like one Shade Stalker that could block right there, but it's better to have two things that block than one thing that blocks. You won't be silenced. So I think think that we got this game. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the win. Can't imagine one card that's killing us. All right, and I I don't need to even worry about um, augmented experimenter. As that card with having the lifesteal barrier that can protect us from the three damage thing. Yeah, so that's a good win, beating Discard Aggro. Their hand wasn't very good. You know, they didn't have either of their champions. Um, they were just relying on um, these elusives with Arena Battlecasters. And so, like, turn two, whenever I had Diana challenge the Arena Battlecaster, it was uphill for them. They fought with honor. They fought with honor. We'll see if we can do it again against the same deck. <laughs> Hush, get out of here. River shaped the land. All right, we're just mulliganing everything. Going to be looking for there we go. some of the same kind of cards that we had at last game. Ugh. Last game's hand was much better. Um... I think I may have to use like the Sonic Wave. Challenge Teemo. Oh, it is a great day for a reckoning. I'm gonna just pass. My hand's very bleh. That's a good draw. Nature blesses her followers. That works pretty well. Get to take out Battlecaster and Draven. We'll get another five puff caps. But that was that was a good draw with getting that, that one mana two one. And also that'll help on turn on Nightfall. Time for the money. And also that will help turn on Nightfall for my two three. Hey, Shell Shocker. Yeah, it's uh, the the Vlad Thresh deck. I would say it's it's more of a for fun deck, but it's I mean it is viable. You can you can get some wins with it. Um, it's not yeah. Every mushroom are precious. Yeah, but when do they explode? All right, take down Jinx. All right, looks like they just want to trade across the board. Discarding Arena Battlecaster. Okay, 
We'll trade our two drop for Teemo and Arena Battlecaster. Okay, certainly hoping no more Jinx. No more Jinx. No more Jinx. Also, hopefully we draw something cost five or less that we can play. That's not really something that costs five or less that we can play. Just use this Sunburst on the Draven. I wanted to use Sunburst on Jinx. Draven? So I wanted to do... And then we'll play Diana with Challenger. Try to kill this 2-1. Good, yeah, you had good results against Metadax on... A normal with the deck? Good. So yeah, it's... You know, like, it's hard to make top tier Vladimir, but... I think that one can do some work. So I know I could deny that, but what I, I'm worried about Augmented Experimenter. There we go. Just deal, discard your hand, draw three. Deal three. That was clutch. Save, save that. Deny. So now it doesn't kill Diana. They don't get to pass go. They don't get to collect $200. And they don't get to draw three cards. The Solari brought this bloodshed upon themselves. This war is old as Solari and Lunari alike. Lunari to me. Got a donation from Nightfall, from Niceville, with Nightfall with Stony Suppressor. Play it as is. All right. We'll have a Stony Suppressor Nightfall deck. Thank you, Niceville. Did you have a day that you want me to play it? It may have been in the donation message. It's a great spirit's refuge. You get new cards. Hex Paramedics. So I could put the Lifesteal Barrier on the Greenglade Caretaker and gain a lot more life if I want to play the Stand United. Pump that thing up even more, but that'll do. Of the heretic rang true. Three and O. Oh. Fiora alone. This is where Hush could be awesome. Am I playing William? I don't think I have William in my deck, do I? No, I do have Sunburst though. Sunburst, cool. All right, so we're gonna keep all of these. None of these. No caretaker. No caretaker. Night flowers upon my blade. Hmm. Lunari, rise. No more hiding. All right, pass turn. Really, Mountain Goat? Could have had you last turn. Could have had this Mountain Goat last turn. So we're playing the Mountain Goat. They would fall by my blade. All right, we'll head on over to us. Shen. Shen with Barrier. The fate of mortal. I wish I had that Green Glade Caretaker in play now. I find them unworthy. Lunari, rise. Yeah, 
Get a mountain goat. Alright, so down to 11. Uh, my favorite version of Lee Sin is Lee Sin Zed with Frel Yord. That's my favorite version of Lee Sin. Lee Sin is Frel Yord with Zed. Right, so we'll have Sunburst next turn. Their sense travels on the night air. Sunburst should just kill it, right? Is there anything that protects them from Sunburst? I don't think there is, right? And here you go. Here's here's my list for Preliord. By my honor, you must die. Sorry, excuse me. Well, they played. Okay, they played it in treat to find another one. Find your own light within the darkness. Yours is a light I cherish, Moon Sister. Playing Dianix, Diana has the challenger, so we, you know we get to support with the barrier and the challenger again. So we get attack for ten, one point off. It's our time. Face your heretic. They don't have to use a spell to protect Fiora. River shape the land. I played two brittle steel so far. For the honor run. I could go pale cascade, but we are not drawing a card. This would just be Fiora's first thing to kill. I think I want to draw cards. These woods protect their own. With my Pill Cascade. I'm planning on just playing these three threats. Okay, so they have a repost in hand. I'm planning on just playing three threats and having six across and attacking like that. Um, you know, judgment. Let's see, so if they have Judgment, they'd have two extra mana. Or no, they'd have three extra mana. We'll have eight mana next turn. The full moon awakens the soul. So Judgment does kill me. We know they they have we know they have a repost, so they'd have three cards to have a judgment. I don't think it's worth trying to play around, honestly. I think it's just judgment kills me. Come, a new phase awaits. Yeah, I think I think that's all. I think that's. I think that's just how it is. Steady my hand. Willing to die to judgment. Sharp mind. Okay, they had it. GG's. The Lunari will not live in fear. Yeah, I have I have my two draw steps to draw towards the denied, don't I? Should have just done that. See if we would have hit deny. Okay, let's see. We're going to play against Nocturne Diana. I don't like... I kind of want to keep all these cards, but I don't... I just don't like if they have Di... Yeah, I just hope they don't have Diana. Is that like a request I can make? Just don't... don't. You don't have Diana? I don't have Diana either. So that seems only fair. We were peaceful. 
Do wish I had the attack token on three. No more hiding. My life for these lands. I will be free. So we better have the attack token on three with the key guardian. Ours is the one true light. All right, gonna give it to the river shaper passing turn. I'm not planning on blocking this Solari Soldier anyway. But in case of Diana... Devotion to battle. Changes, but never if I would have played Shade Stalker instead of Crescent Guardian, I would have had a Pill Cascade this turn. Raise your weapon, Sunwit. What form will the waters take? Good hand. The soldiers look good. The soldiers definitely look good. That's my plan's Mountain Goat. Darkness hides my path. Mountain Goat, Shade Stalker, Pale Cascade. If they have Diana, that's their fourth... Um, fourth Nightfall, so it'll be leveled up. It'll be a 3-3 Challenger. <clears throat> Good, no Diana. Invisible to the ego. Pull them down. Fear not death. All right. A gift from the river folk. Oh, Sisters. So we could make the Shade Stalker a 3 3 elusive, matches up well against their Shade Stalker, but of course they have their own gem as well. They can make theirs a 3 3 right back. I have a bunch of six and seven mana cards in hand. I'm not playing any of them right now. Ephemeral Mountain Goat. Whatever the cost. I like saving my spell mana for these for these other things instead of playing the Sonic Wave. Us to choose death or the blade. So if they have Nocturne, I'm gonna need to Sunburst Nocturne. If not, maybe we go Eclipse Dragon. Mother Moon Veil. Hmm. Still have Nocturne. I'm just gonna pass. I hope I don't. This is pretty dangerous. These five. Yeah, like, this is pretty dangerous. It's me taking seven. As is. Must we fight? Fear not death. 
I guess I should have used Sonic Wave to challenge that. Oh, not dead. Okay, we're not dead. Okay, we're at three. I don't have to worry about unspeakable horror killing me. Okay, well, in that respect, um, I'm going to play this and this. Cool. Doom Beast plus unspeakable horror. Don't do that. Uh, Should have just played River Shaper, held up deny. Darn it. That's two games. Those last two games, both of those really felt like we were going to be winning. And then suddenly we lose. And it was both me not looking for deny or holding up deny. So that was a 3-2 that really could have been a 5-0, honestly. Like, that was pretty close. Um, you know, they had, like, the Fiora deck did a great job of drawing all three Fioras, which don't always do, but, um, you know, maybe we would have had deny on top. Like, that, so, like, that that last game, that or, like, that Fiora game, I really should have played the Pale Cascade even before combat, because either we draw, like, deny, which would have been great, or if we would have drawn... Um, Sunburst. So, like, you know, basically we had Deny and Sunburst. Because if we would have drawn our second Sunburst, I would have been able to play the Sunburst before combat, and then they're not, then they don't have the mana to play Judgment, because they had, you know, they have to save their Fiora. It would not have had the Silence anymore, because they wouldn't have had the Daybreak. But, um, so we would have had, I had three outs and, like, you know, 30 cards or whatever we had left in the deck. Maybe 28 cards. So, you know, I had, like, a, even with, with the Judgment and, like, how I played into it, I probably had, like, a, 12% chance of of uh, winning that if I would have played the Pill Cascade first. Or we could have found Hush. Yeah, Hush would have done something. Yeah, Hush would have done something. But anyway, uh, there's Shen Diana. Pretty cool little deck here. Bunch of neat little things. Obviously, we're, we're kind of trying out some different things with some different one-ofs and everything. The card that was the worst in our deck was probably Sonic Wave, right? Sonic Wave didn't seem to do too much. Neither did Hush. Both both Hush and Sonic Wave um, underperformed quite a bit. Cygnus underperformed. So some of our one-ofs underperformed there. But overall, this deck felt pretty cool. I liked it, and it did, it did well. Um, so... There we go, Shen Diana. Some other other options like there's, I mean there's you know lots of things you can play in these regions. You could could get another Mountain Goat in there. The Mountain Goat was good, so I wouldn't mind playing another Mountain Goat. Key Guardian was also pretty good. Nopify could have been a cool card to play. Maybe we're playing like Nopify instead of Hush. For example, that could be one. Um, you could go more invoke, but I decided to get to be aggressive. But if you want to play a later game, that's when you start getting Lunari Priestess in here. So like instead of like Eclipse Dragon, Cygnus, if you want to play like Lunari Priestess and get invoke stuff, that's also an option. That's not a bad one. Um, you know, Bastion can do some things. Um, you know, if you need some more Nexus Healing Star Shaping, some removal Will of Ionia. I liked Sunburst a lot. Sunburst looked really good. I would not mind playing a third Sunburst. And then, of course, Infinite Mind Splitter is another option for the top end um, that could be awesome. Like, you know, Infinite Mind Splitter against Fiora is pretty great. So there's there's a lot of different ways that you can kind of, you know, tune this around the edges, depending on different cards that you want to play. But I really liked this. I think the Shen's a good card, Diana's a good card, and a lot of these Nightfall ones pretty efficient and effective. Cygnus didn't really do very much for us. It did it helped block like one time. It's not necessary though. You can definitely play something else besides Cygnus. It, it, uh, it disappointed in the games. All right. Anyway, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there, and of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. I'd really appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching some Shen Diana, and I'll see you for the next video.